Hi, I'm Anna, and you are at Anna's House DIY. Today we're working on this restoration hardware DIY dupe <laughs> paper mache vase, and I think you guys will like this. Check it out. So for this project, you will start by immersing your toilet paper inside this warm to hot water. Uh, and you're not leaving there for too long. You're literally just uh, immersing and getting in that cup for measurement. That's how much you will know uh, how much product you will be using. So one cup and a half, fill the cups up after you uh, immerse the toilet paper. Once that's done, put it back in the bowl with the same water and leave your toilet paper resting for about 10 minutes or so. After the 10 minutes is done, you will uh, drain the water out, but don't pat too much because you do need some moisture within that paper. So don't get the whole water out. Leave some water as you're straining. Your toilet paper should look like pieces of crumbles like that. And go ahead and add your joint compound. Blend it really well before you add your glue. Now mix it with your glue and the jar compound all together. And last but not least, you will add your flour. Add a little bit, see how much you need, but a whole cup should be the right measurement for this project. And like I always say, just trust the process. Don't be afraid. Uh, after everything is completely blended, go ahead and get the bowl of your choice. Cover the bowl with Ziploc or any uh, plastic that you may have at home. Now spread the mache throughout. What I would highly recommend is take it easy on those layers. Don't thicken up because if your project takes three to four days like mine did, it's totally normal. Uh, when you jump into this process, leave it on the outside. Make sure it is a hot day because if it is a hot day and you'll leave it out on your patio, uh, it should take about a day or two to dry completely. Um, and that was it. Now, go ahead and do the bottom part, uh, which is going to be the upper, upper part once you flip your bow. And don't forget to do the bottom, okay? So just eyeball it and play with your hands. Now we're using this clay powder. It's like a lime wash type of powder and the reason why i chose this because it will make my bow look like antique bow if i were to use regular paint i would have to dab with a brush and keep doing it and with this i only did i only did two layers um and if you are using lime wash powder um just go ahead and mix that every time you put on the brush you do your strokes you need to blend it because the clay will go down the bottom and that was it i had so much fun recreating this restoration hardware um bow and i think it's marvelous what do you think um if you jump into this project don't forget to tag me along i would love to see how your project turned out to be i'll see you next time thanks